tissue, tissue, and, and then we we ended the session, mm -hmm. and then we were we parted. We actually parted. But when oh, we did, something really important happened on that day that was yes. very profound. We met Farouk on that day. We actually met Farouk. We met Farouk is our spiritual son. Yes. And we met him on that on exact that day. day. To this day, exact. he's in our life. Yes. Who we love dearly. Yeah, yeah. He's in Canada at he's the moment. He's in Canada at the moment. Yes. Farouk, I love you. I miss you. We love you. Just love you, Farouk. He's a profound part of my life. I Absolutely. mean, literally, very profound. Very, very, very profound. Will always be part of my yes. life. Yes. And so. Uh, it was just very divine that day, very, very mm -hmm. profound. And so when we left, um, we left and I, I just uh, actually gave you a hug. And it was magical. Did, and uh, the thing about it is that when, and when I left, in the spirit of him, mm -hmm. the hug followed me. Followed me too, I, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I felt the presence of it. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, and it's like I knew you. I it's knew you. It's like I knew you. It My spirit you. knew you. Mm -hmm. And I was wow. I was, I was stunned, because, as I immediately I realized that. I had a obstacle that was in me rose up, yeah. which was fear. <laughs> immediately fear rose up, because mm -hmm. of uh, the bad experiences. Mm -hmm. It's why the Bible says. Forget those things that are behind. Mm -hmm. And so we would communicate via texting, okay? And uh, and then I had to stay longer than a week. Yeah. And um, so my students began to realize I was in Barbados and I was invited to go preach and the Lord told me to ask you to come with me. But tell them about when I would text you because yes, yes, yes. when a person, not just man, woman too, when they're going through, you know, the romantic solitude as you would yes. say, you know, I would text him, tell them about when yes, I text yes. you how we would respond. Yes. So what happened right now uh, before that <laughs> the Lord had told me that he's putting me on the romantic storage unit. That I was no longer on the romantic supermarket shelf. Mm -hmm. That means I was not available. And so, so, and uh, because of what had happened in my past, and I'd had uh, an actual romantic shipwreck, mm -hmm. that uh, I was very, very, uh, I was frightened. And so, so when she would text me and say, how are you? <laughs> and she would say, have you eaten? How are you? It would take me 45 minutes to respond. Because when she said, how are you? I could sense the care in her voice, in, in the text. And you I haven't found those texts recently? Ah. Mm -hmm. And I would actually... I don't know how you did it, devil. but I found them on the computer. On the computer? On the computer, on my, um, my uh, Apple, the desktop Apple. So it was I backed found, up? It was backed up from when I had, I think, Blackberry at the time. Yes, yes. It was yes. backed up, yes. yes. And I saw them, I was reading them and I was smiling. I think I must have been mad at you that day too. Yeah. Because when I found them and I was reading them, I actually you know, re was reminded about how we met and all yes, of that, and yes. all of a sudden, you know, of course, I'm always mad for some small little stupid thing, yes. but not always, but you know what I mean. Yes. But all of a sudden it left, and yes. I felt like, oh, Because <laughs> it was just so sweet, the yes. exchange, the yes, exchange. Yes, yes. When you send me the first a song that you told yes, me, yes. Moving Forward, Moving forward. by, oh, what's was his name? Yes, yes. Moving forward, you have sent me this song, yes, yes. and you said this song helped you through yes, your times. Yes. And mo it's called Moving Forward yes, by Something forward. Sanchez. Yes, yes, yes. Something yes. Sanchez, really yes. good. I'll, I'll time that. Yes, but yeah, yes, I saw yes, that in the yes, chat, yes, and yes, yes, yes. I thought, oh my goodness, wow. Yes. So I was like, I probably came downstairs and I love my you. You probably didn't even know why. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just was like, oh wow. my goodness, this wow. all be met. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so. Um, so she would text me and take me 45 minutes to respond <laughs> because I will bind the devil. I say, mm -hmm. devil, if you're sending this woman to affect my destiny, to cause me to lose the anointing of God in my life, I bind you in the name of Jesus, shut, and I'll pray and pray and pray and check in the spirit if there's any demon I would see in the atmosphere. And, and after that, I will reply. So we had this long, she would text me, I will reply 45 minutes later because I was doing intercession to intercept any demon that was operating behind the scenes. And I would look at the phone like, why is he not replying? Like, why is he not replying? Like, what's going on? Not knowing he's binding devil on my head. 
<laughs> Granny spirit on me, like, Granny, the spirit. what is that? Yes. <laughs> so, so uh, I invited her to this event where I was preaching, and that was something else. I mean, so we got to the event, we actually went together, and uh, we got in, and the usher thought that we were together. Mm -hmm. And the usher said, okay, Thank you, usher. I'm going to put you guys in front because I was the speaker. Mm -hmm. And we said, no, we are not together. And so she, I mean, she can be the sit among the audience. And the usher looked at us like funny. She said, okay. And then she Even put me in came. the front seat mm -hmm. and where, where the speaker was and put my, put my wife then. Uh, congregation, normal yeah, congregation seating. Normal congregation seating. So I'm sitting in front and the service is about to begin, mm -hmm. or has already begun. Had begun? Service had begun. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I see <laughs> you. I become sitting next to me. <laughs> and I'm looking at the usher. I'm thinking, what is wrong with this usher? <laughs> Did I not tell the usher that I have that? Myself and this woman, this lady, are not in any type of connection. <laughs> but bear in mind now, base. I know you now. I know yeah. you all of your expressions yes, yes. now. But let me tell you, that expression on that day, it was like, what nonsense does <laughs> this woman do? What does this woman do? And then the woman looked at my expression and said, <laughs> I know you said you're not together, yeah. <laughs> but I feel she's supposed to sit next to you. Listen. I'm like, yeah. What? What is this? What kind of usher is this? Yeah. I said, okay. So I just said. There's nothing mm -hmm. I could say. The, uh, I mean, the services began, mm -hmm. and uh, and came and, and she sat next to me. <laughs> now, when she sat next to me, remember that time I was getting ready for the service. Mm -hmm. The prophetic anointing was already on me, and when she sat next to me, I felt something in the spirit. And this was, by the way, at Apostle Applewith Church. Yes, I uh, have to say that because that's yes, a dear friend of ours. I yes. love her. So thank you, Apostle. Yes, you're gonna watch this video. Yes, she will. <laughs> yes, and so. When you sat next to me, mm -hmm. okay, and then you looked at me and saw that I was sweating. Really sweaty. Yes, and you it's took so the sweaty tissue. To this day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and she took the tissue and handed it to me. When I took the tissue, because that prophetic command was on me, I saw your heart. Uh -huh. I That's saw sweet. I saw it right inside of you. Mm -hmm. And I saw it was there. And I but saw But God showed you what he wanted for you to see. Yes, my yeah. heart was very dirty at that time. Yes, yes. I mean I was a young Christian. Yes. Rededicated my life, but Obviously, I was not like as sanctified as I am now. Yes, yes. So just imagine, I just have to plug this a little bit. Just imagine that the usher seated me next to the bishop. The bishop, okay? Me, this two year or so Christian, rededicating my life. Because the first time I gave my life to the Lord was about 12, so in that span. So rededicating my life to the Lord about two years prior, or just under two years, or something like that. Um, subject to be corrected and the usher put me at that point where I went I mean come as you are yes we still we still have that here and you go as, as the word gets in the word of God so the word is a cleanser and you know it transforms and so that time I was still wearing you know my short dresses so just imagine the bishop with this young woman <laughs> sitting next to him in her short dress you could only imagine his expression and his thoughts <laughs> So it really is that when God has something to give us, we really should not always exactly look at the exterior because inside of me was all of this. And when I'm speaking about him, seeing all of the giftings Understand. and the graces and so on, and Absolutely. it had to take you, you really Absolutely. have to be humble to receive, you know, somebody like me as to say who I was at that time. Understand. You know, because as you always say, there was a Nina who was. There's a Nino who is, yes, and, and there's a Nino who is to come. So, yes, yeah, so as, as the prophetic came on you, yes. And so I was there, and as she gave me the tissue, as I held it, the building disappeared. Oh, I wish I was in your... Yes. In that realm to that see that too. The <laughs> building disappeared. Everything disappeared, mm -hmm. and I was in this vision. And in this vision, I saw us five years later. And we were married. And I saw us, I was a prophet, you were a prophetess, and we were together, we were wealthy, we were above the Caribbean, mm -hmm. the entire Caribbean, we were in the air above the Caribbean, and we had influence across the entire Caribbean, mm -hmm. and we had, we also had a media mm -hmm. reach, mm -hmm. a, a 
powerful. You gotta like pitch your voice a little bit yes. because you know what we actually had speak, a media <laughs> um, ministry mm-hmm. that was impacting the whole of the region, and people knew us all over the region, mm-hmm. and we had offices in the states, and we had a connection to South Africa, mm-hmm. which I did not have at that time. Right? Did you have an office in the state at that time? Mm-hmm. Now we do, mm-hmm. and. I saw that and then the vision changed and we were in a hotel room Mm -hmm. and we were having a vacation Mm -hmm. in this hotel room. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then so this little lady next to you, her yes. little short dress. You have a vision. So yes, yes. How yes. did you feel? No. How did it make you feel? When I came out of the vision, mm-hmm. I was so shocked. <laughs> I was so surprised that I actually acted like I didn't see the vision <laughs> because it was so shocking to me of the vision that I had seen. I was so shocked. I was so shocked. Because you preach that day, you hardly look at me. Yes, like yes. You hardly looked at yes. me. And it was like, what's this? Yes, yes, you yes. You know, I mean, I, I was not thinking of you as a boyfriend. Yes. Husband was even the first thing from my yes, mind, but yes. I just thought it was. You were looking at, and it's like I, I wasn't even there. Yes, yes. You know, I was, so. I was, I was like, I was really in my thoughts. I was like, wow, wow, this. I mean, this woman that I'm sitting next to. This. Is more than what I thought and uh, it was so deep and profound in me that I began to to fear began to rise on the inside of me okay then we we we, we left the church I didn't tell you anything about it and then the next Sunday we had another service and I invited you and that was this service but I want to know something was it at this particular service that in this particular series of visions because i love this part actually yes. when because i just want I, want I know i'm helping somebody yes was it in this particular series of visions where you saw where you said that you saw where you had a vision with us on our march bed and you were your hand was on me ministering deliverance yes that was the i love time. that because god the is so time. amazing yes. that he will show you listen this is your wife but she need deliverance yes and you're the one because you have that grace as yes, well yes, yes. so i thought i always smile and say god is so amazing just Absolutely. so profound he's like this is your wife but listen you're gonna have to yes. get her to that point she yes, needs some yes. deliverance you're gonna have to clean so you Absolutely. could meet your wife your husband whatever and listen as as um as um what's his name that we love so much that ministers so much deliverance tv joshua as tv joshua would say if you're about to be married you better take that man or woman for deliverance because we've had past we, we've all had a past. Yes. So we've had relationships. Yes. We, we've had um, generational things that can be in us and yes. going with us and yes. following us. So you not only might necessarily be delivering from demons or anything like that, but you want to make sure that you start that relationship right. So God, what, what happened or what God's showing is actually a good thing. Yes. So I wanted to share that especially because I'm, there's no shame with me saying that because I will never hide my story from anyone because Amen. it's too beautiful and it's my testimony I will never hide that Our and it's, it's what got me to where I am now so why would I hide what God has done Absolutely. in my life Absolutely. by his grace Absolutely. you know and his mercies Absolutely. so yes I wanted to just I just yes. wanted to know if it was that yes. and I wanted to share it as yes. well so now the second time so it happened in the second time mm-hmm. at the second church so with the second church and when I was preaching now this time, I mean, there was a miracle on me, and I began to pray for people, and people getting healed and delivered, and the Lord told me to call you. Mm-hmm. And I called her, and I began to pray. This was the day. I began to pray for her, mm-hmm. and she began to get delivered. And she fell down under the power, and I was praying for her, and she must have gone into shock. I was in total shock. Sure, shock, shock was not even the word. Is there another word that we can use that's higher than shock? Because <laughs> something was happening to me. Someone yes. sort of when you point your hand, like you normally do like this. I looked all around me like, who is he pointing his finger to? And as a matter of fact, why is if it's me, why is he gonna embarrass me today? Why did he invite me to this church to embarrass me? Because guys, where I went before, we did not. I didn't know any of that. We never done any of that stuff there. I don't think I've ever even seen stuff like that. Maybe if I've seen it, maybe some vivid something, yes. some, I mean, not vivid, but some far off yes. memory, but certainly not in my own life. Yes. And I always, like I said, I had a lot of pride 
and you know I would have never thought that I thought it was an, an, an embarrassing thing to do yes. so when you called me I was mad at you yes. I was so mad inside I was like why is he doing this yes. I saw you ministering it to other people yes. I mean I now know that's what you were doing ministering yes. it you know as I said it was not where I am now and I was like, oh my goodness. But I never thought you were coming because I thought we're cool. Yes. So you don't do that to the person of your <laughs> Oh my God. I thought we're cool, so you're not gonna embarrass the person you're cool with. Yes, yes. You know, I, you know, and I'm like, oh, Jesus. so you called me and was like, what is he doing? Oh my, God. Oh my goodness. So oh my yes, God. you can. Yes. So what I a called day. her and I began to pray for her and I mm -hmm. began to see the spirits and the, in, and the situations of her life. And I began to pray about them and break them and deal with them. Now, when I was doing that... Guys, generational curses and stuff. You need deliverance, okay? She came up with a plan. And she said, <laughs> excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom while I was praying for her. Yep. So I said, okay, yes, okay, go to the bathroom. <clears throat> but she didn't really want to go to the bathroom. I was going to escape. She was going to escape. I was like, I can't take this fire because I didn't know anything about no fire. God, none of that. <laughs> but my tummy was burning so much. I felt fire was all over my body. I was like, all in my head and everything. And I was like, I thought actually, I felt as though I was going crazy or something. And I was like, what is this? This, this is not God. Oh, why will God do this? This is embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I was I was just burning up all over. I didn't know what to do with myself. I literally felt I was going to go like, <gasps> and pass out. I literally didn't know what to think. Yes. My brain just went like that. So I told the usher that I'm gonna go, I'm, I want to use the bathroom. I was like, I got to get out of this place because my niece was downstairs. Hi, Cheyenne. My niece was downstairs in the Sunday school. So I looked, she had her bag. I just had to grab mine. So I said, I'm going to go down, get her to go back up for my bag because I'm going to stay in the bathroom and I'm gone. I'm going to even leave him. Okay, I'm going to, when I said leaving me, we had um, driven in the same car. So I was like, I'm gone. Okay, because this is so embarrassing. As a matter of fact, he's not my friend after today. I am no longer, I am going to let you have it because what, why would you invite me to church? <laughs> I've got me rolling on the ground, that dirty ground. It wasn't dirty, but you know, I'm very... Yes, powerful. so people's shoes and stuff were by that all and I was like, what is this in my good church dress, my nice peach dress? <laughs> and women with these cloths wrapping all around me from me being exposed and I was like And the church had men, I was like, oh my god, why, 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 why? I didn't know a thing about deliverance or any of that, so yeah So he is correct, I was going to escape and so you can tell them what happened. Oh, you mean this part? Yes. Well, I, I, so I told the ushers that I'm going to leave to go to the, to the ladies' room. And so when I, there was a little step down because it was in the upstairs building. So just when I'm about to put my right leg over the step down to, to which would be on the first um, stair, um, all of a sudden, I got stuck. I couldn't move. Like, I literally couldn't move. And when I couldn't move, the only thing I could do then is just buckled and cried and I began to scream and the ushers then came and took me back to him. <laughs> she tried to escape, but the yes. angel of God arrested, arrested her. Arrested, honestly, and, yes. And brought her back and she was brought back and I, was, and I began to pray for her. Yes. While I was praying for her, <laughs> I then went into a vision. And when I went into a vision, I saw myself praying for her on our marriage bed for deliverance. Oh, so it was then that you Yes, that. yes. Okay. And when I saw that, I, 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 I don't know what, I, I froze, I panicked. I took my hands off her like this. <laughs> yes, it's And true. I ran to the altar. It is true. I ran to the altar. It is true. And I began speaking in tongues. <laughs> Folks thought I must have seen a vision or something. Oh my God. I was so, I was, I was there and I said, oh my God. <laughs> this woman is my wife. Mm -hmm. This woman is my wife. And I was there just speaking in tongues, Shanda Brobodobo say by the <laughs> altar, just meditating on what I had just seen. Oh my gosh. Wow. And in that moment when I was there, God I actually felt like a I felt like a like a waterfall. I felt mm -hmm. like a waterfall of love for you was put in my spirit mm. in that moment i felt it coming boom into my spirit into my heart it came like a 
it came like a river. Would you say that's when you recognize it to be love? Y yes. Because I believe, you know, as you were just saying that yes. just came, I believe that even in the very moment when we met, yes. I believe that love had already entered. Yes. So would you say then at that point is when you actually recognized? It, it was more than recognized. I actually got an impact. I mm. had a major impartation, impartation of, love, of love. I had a major impartation of love because in that moment, okay, God showed me, mm. okay, this is your wife. Yeah. She has... She's wounded and she's hurt. Yeah, I was very wounded. But oh she's the woman I've given you. Mm -hmm. And the love to walk through all the wounds and all the hurt to where we are today mm -hmm. came into my spirit. Came by you. Wow. But I remember that. To day walk very through much. every to every it came on that day. I, I received it. I felt it come into me like a river. Yes. But you know, as you were saying, I don't want you to share on this. When you met me, in the moment when you met me, could you, when you looked at me, could you tell from the physical that I was that wounded, that I was no. in so much pain? No. It was masked, wasn't it? It was masked. So what do you say to people then that would meet somebody like me, whether it be male or female? Because a lot of women, we miss our spouse and we miss, you know, we, men miss their wives and, men, and women miss their husbands because um, sometimes we think that we'll be the person that have everything together, everything no, will be together. No. And especially when we look at only the exterior because yes. nobody knew how much pain I was in and, yes. and the torment that was going on yes. within. Yes, and uh, no, because God, you see the Bible says one thing, it says, mm -hmm. whatever God has joined together, let no man put us on. And it says, and God, and it says God will bring two together and says, and the two shall become one. Yeah. Now, so that's a process. The two becoming one is a process word. Mm -hmm. So, your marriage will go through a process yeah. that brings about oneness and unity within mm -hmm. the marriage. And, and when God brought us, I knew that God brings people and their raw material. Yeah. They it's have to really be configured important. to one another. Like now, that. I, have been changed profoundly <laughs> because you have contributed profoundly to my life in changing me and, and, and actually making me who I am today. I'm different because of the contributions you've, you've actually made in my life. So even though, yes, I was more spiritual than you, mm -hmm. but you had some life wisdom and some practical wisdom <laughs> that I definitely mm. had did not have yeah. and which added greatly I mean, to my life. Absolutely. And uh, so, so uh, I mean, there was a wonderful exchange. Mm -hmm. And so, but I saw, I saw the pain, I saw her history, but I saw that she was during the deliverance. Yes, during the during deliverance. The yeah. and, and, and so the love mm -hmm. to walk through all of that and to walk through was imparted into my spirit. And so that's what happened. And uh, so, we were brought together by the voice of God mm -hmm. and then the love of God was activated in us. Yes. Now there's some people who, now listen, it is the love of God that initially connects them and then the voice of God confirms it. Yes, that's right. So you that's have people right. who, the voice of God initiates it yes. and, the, and the romantic agape in their hearts confirms it. it. And then the people who is the romantic agape in their hearts, mm -hmm. mutual, that brings them together and the voice of God confirms it. Okay guys, so we're back. We had a break. We had a little bit of a break there, but we're going to wrap up now. So you were explaining in your last. Yes. So with us, mm -hmm. God initiated the process with his voice and then he supported it by giving each of us mm -hmm. romantic agape. Now the couples who he does it the other way, he begins by romantic agape, mm -hmm. and that is agape is the giving of yourself. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. So if you have agape for somebody, you want to give yourself for the person. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, 
So the people who begin with romantic agape and God confirms it with His voice. Mm -hmm. So those two things are required. Yes. But for relationship to work, the third thing needs to come in, and which is everything God gives you is raw material. Mm -hmm. But the raw material needs to be processed. Yes. The raw material, it takes a price to process the relationship. Yes. To develop the relationship. I want you to, to talk about that processing of the relationship in the third video. Yes, yes. Because I believe this is very interesting and it's going to take longer yes. than we have time yes, before. Absolutely. So I absolutely. think it's wonderful. So look out for how to process. How would you label that? Yes. What would you call that then? That's called configuration. Configuration of your romantic relationship. Yes, yes. Configuration of your romantic relationship. And again, it's going to be based on our life, our love story. So God bless you guys. It's been so amazing having you here. I'm really enjoying this. Enjoying we have to talk about working together. I mean, we're going to, we're going to have you back on the show, obviously, because yes, yes. you're so good. Um, so guys, until next time, bye. We love you. Um, excellence is a choice and all you do aim for? Excellence. Excellence. Are you enjoying the show? Of course. Oh, that's so sweet. Kisses. Mm. Kisses. Mm. Two more. Mm. Can't count. I said two, three. <laughs> <laughs>